A Simple Plan is a 1998 neo-noir crime thriller film directed by Sam Raimi and written by Scott B. Smith, based on the 1993 novel of the same name, and it stars Bill Paxton, Billy Bob Thornton, and Bridget Fonda. Set in rural Minnesota, the story follows brothers Hank and Jacob Mitchell, who, along with Jacob's friend Louis, discover a crashed plane containing $4.4 million in cash. The three men and Hank's wife, Sarah, go to great lengths to keep the money a secret. Being released in the 1998 Toronto International Film Festival, where it was met with critical acclaim, the film's appearance at the festival preceded a limited release in the US on the 7th 11th of the same year, followed by a general release in America in the next year of January 22nd. But it underperformed at the North American box office, grossing only $16.3 million. But reviewers praise various aspects of the film's production, including the storytelling, performances, and Sam Raimi's direction. And it earned multiple nominations and awards, and also two Academy Award nominations, including Best Supporting Actor for Thornton and one of the Best Adapted Screenplay for Smith. But what do I like about this film? Well, let's just talk about the good first. And the good is just the storytelling throughout. Like, I like the way it starts off and it kind of builds to this sort of like. It's a very simple story where it's this ordinary dude who has an ordinary life and, you know, like, he, he needs some money and he's struggling, but he's pretty much got an okay job, you know, it's, it's okay, it's going good, but his wife is obviously pregnant, and then, you know, when these people find this mil millions and millions of dollars of cash inside this plane, you know, like, it's so interesting seeing how low a human can go when it comes to money, you know, like, how low some of these dudes can go just for money, you know, and it's not even their money, it's stolen money, but it's so interesting seeing how an ordinary guy can just fall from grace just when money is involved, and the things he's willing to do, it's just, it kind of shocked me at times, you know, like, I wasn't expecting, oh man, it, it is kind of chilling when you watch the film, it's really chilling, you know, because it just shows you that not all good people are good, you know, and yeah, it, it's kind of frightening to be honest with you, um, and then when the film obviously comes to the end, like, you really do see, like, oh, fudge, like, there's this, oh, what, there's this WTF moment towards the end, where you're like, oh, it really isn't everything, you know, like, I feel like I have to talk about spoilers here because it's quite hard to explain what I need to explain, so heavy spoilers coming your way. I'll probably put a timestamp in the video to go to my overall thoughts and reviews of this film, but here we go. So yeah, the ending, after the main character has killed like three people, like he's killed, um, like he killed the dude on the sort of jet ski, he killed the woman, the wife of the, his um, friends, of his brother's friend, and then he ended up killing his brother at the end, and I'm just like, wow, just so that he can try and, you know, make sure that he has the money, you know, but when it comes to his, he's able to kill the other um, people without hesitation, like, you know, like, you know, he, he, oh man, you he, he, he just see how psychotic this guy is, but when it comes to his brother, he's like, he realizes how much of a bad person he has become, like, the look in his eyes, and he's done it, but he knows it's just for the greater good, He's he knows doing this, means that he and his wife and his daughter are going to have a good life but then the bombshell drops when it's revealed that all the money the notes have like a serial code on it so no matter where he goes they'll be able to track him down and realize it's him so he ends up burning it now yeah you can say that oh man so he did all that for nothing and he's got like the job back and like his wife has to it's just gone back to normal you know but i'm just like i mean maybe he could have left this, the town in like two years time you know having the money but still you know like he couldn't risk it and the funny thing is that he wanted to give the money to the police right away but he was sort of influenced by his friends to sort of like keep it and even he kind of got influenced by it but he should have listened to his gut first instead of like listening to what other people wanted he should have listened to like on the spot he should have but man, I, I just love the whole story of this film and it was just great. I have no gripes with this film. It was a beautifully paced film. Also, that one, the wife really surprised me. I think that's another mixed aspect of the film, you know. In these types of um, stories, you'd think like, but, like the wife to be against the idea, to be like, we gotta do the right thing, you know, and then the man's like, no, 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 we gotta, we gotta have this money. But the wife is not only supportive, 
but she's kind of a bit psychotic when it comes to the money like even towards the end of the film when she kind of confronts the guy saying if you give this money to the police like our lives are going to be terrible like we don't want to be living in poverty and all that like, and you just see like that is her real self like she comes across this nice sophisticated woman but man when it comes to the money you just see that happened but overall what a then that was the only thing about the film that i found a little bit jarring but it was it still made sense you know but overall it was a really good film i had a blast watching it and i'm gonna give it an a i, I was impressed by it i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten definitely check this film out dude some things were a little bit it but it was near perfect dude but what do you think about this film tell me in the comments down below like this video subscribe for more anime and manga reactions and reviews and movies and all that jazz Thank you for watching, and as always, Boarded Review signing up.